Franka from Memory Keepers. Today we are gonna start a mini album and uh, let's dive in the tutorial. Okay, so uh, we are making a mini album that measures 4 inches by 6 inches. Um, basically 4.5 by 6.5. So, uh, oh, I, have, I will list all the supplies that you need in the description box and I have done some homework. So, if you guys have any questions regarding anything, please feel free to comment and um, I will get back to you. Okay, so for that you need um, two pieces of chipboard that measures four and a half by six and a half and one chipboard that measures two inches by six and a half okay and um, and after that we need okay so we are gonna use two kinds of cardstock for this uh, I'm using white cardstock and we are using uh, this paper from Prima it's an old collection and uh, one of my favorites it's called epiphany and these are the papers if I flip through with it it's very vintage and uh, you can also put your black and white photographs in this collection okay so Two cardstocks, uh, two types of cardstock. One that measures 300 GSM that we are going to use for inside of the album for the pages. And uh, for the uh, cover, we are going to use 200 GSM. It's because you need a lighter weight paper so that your album spine does not crack when you fold. If you use a heavy weight cardstock, that's very likely to happen okay for the cover we are gonna uh, trim this to eight and a half so i keep it on my trimmer and then just trim it eight and a half by 12 inches and uh, we'll take another sheet and again we'll Okay, uh, this measures 12 inches so we need at least 3 inches more so we're gonna first um, 3 inches by 8 and a half inches okay and then we're gonna join this like that so I'm going to use my tacky tapes this is a really strong adhesive and uh, you can buy this uh, from crafters corner or from some local suppliers they all have these tacky tapes and I'm using this one fourth inch size if you do not have a one fourth inch size then you can go for half inch but then cut a little extra the paper you can cut a little bit of extra like for half inch extra okay. so now we're gonna burnish this nicely this is so that all the air bubbles go away and you can stick your paper for a really long time okay remove the backing and just uh, try to be as close to the line of the tape as possible Burnish this. I'm going to keep my trimmer aside. So you're going to have something like this. Don't worry about this because it's going to hide. Okay. So 
now take your chipboard and you will keep it like this okay make sure that you have at least one inch from here and one inch from here if you if it's extra then it's no problem but one inch is necessary okay and then what we have to do is we have to keep these two at least one eighth of an inch apart so the best way to do this is take your ruler and uh, first place this one also it, there should be at least three fourth inches um, paper left here okay just eyeball it and make a pencil mark around the perimeter of the chipboard this way if it moves you'll you'll know where you have to place your chipboard again okay then remove this mark one eighth of an inch from this one and draw a line and then you can keep this one over here eyeball it and again make the pencil mark then again do one eighth inch make a mark join these okay keep the third part third chipboard piece and again draw the boundary with your pencil perfect so now we are going to stick these you can use glue but I prefer to use this um, tacky tape this is broader one one inch and so it makes life easy okay so I would prefer or I would also recommend that you guys use tacky tape for this step cover the whole area with tacky tape I'm gonna do this and come so I have adhered these two pieces and this one I'm gonna do with you guys just make sure that you burnish your tape really well if you don't then some years later your spine will come off okay so it's very necessary that you use a strong and a good quality adhesive or tape uh, some people also use score tape but that's really expensive so okay while doing this make sure that you line this line first okay because it's very important that you have this one eighth of an inch space going on and when you've done that just burnish press it very nicely okay after that just press your paper along the edges so that when you fold it you don't have any problems and label your chipboard that this is the front and this is your back okay after that same goes with this one then we're gonna trim the corners like from here to here make sure on on this step 
you just leave at least one eighth of an inch um, space um, from this end of the chip okay I'm just eyeballing it because I've been doing this since long if you are new then you can also make pencil mark using a ruler that's very important because you don't want your corners to be showing off uh, like with this chipboard if you cut it extra the paper the chipboard corners are going to be showing off and uh, if by chance you do that uh, I'll come up with a solution for that don't worry okay so now we are going to line this perimeter with the tape again if you want to reinforce this we can also use glue in between okay first we will burnish this nicely can see the color changing with the tape when you burnish this nicely otherwise it's light pink and after burnishing it's towards dark pink okay now we will cut these overhangs of the tape or you can also flip this and then you will able to see any overhangs better and you can snip them off okay perfect so now first we are gonna do the these bottom and the upper lower part and just remove the backing this half inch one is a little rigid and the backing doesn't come up easily all the time okay. so just do this nicely and first stick the center and then slowly go to the outer edges okay same goes for the Lower one. Make sure your edges are nice and sticked. Now, before we just remove the backing of this one, you have to push in the corners. If you see, there's a slight um, paper here. So when you push this with your nails, uh, if you don't have a nail, you can use um, a scoring tool like this keep it like this and give it a little bit of push like that okay so that way your corners will be sharp and pointed remove the backing I have lost my tweezer and it becomes really handy with removing the backing. Just push it so that there's no gap and it sticks nicely. You can do one thing after this, just burnish the edges like this so that it's nice and crisp. Same goes with this, just push the corners in like that. Do you see? 
I have done this one. I hope you can see now. And same with this one. Just pushing it inside like that. Removing the backing. I can make my videos in the daytime because my son is two and a half years old and he is like an energy bomb and he sleeps really less. So I have to do this later at night when he is off to bed and even my husband so that there is no noise okay you can burnish from here as well if you see any air bubbles just make sure to press it nicely okay now we are gonna just simply do this if you if the paper doesn't get folded by itself you can take the help of your ruler just stick it in between this and then slowly move your cover like this okay perfect so this just leaves a dent and your paper should come along nicely don't make too much pressure so that the paper doesn't tear okay so here we are ready with our cover see how nice the papers inside for what what do we need so we're gonna need the heavy weight cardstock uh, that measures Three pieces of heavyweight cardstock that measures mm, four and a half by six. Okay. So, let me just take out mine. Get out your scoreboards. So this is four and a half by. I'm sorry, four and a half by six. I'm so sorry. my pages please bear with me okay found them so these are three pages that measures four and a half by six and these are base pages and we're gonna score each at half an inch okay so just keep it here hold it nicely and on the half inch mark it and then you're gonna fold on these score lines towards the bumpy side this is if you see that when you make a score if you flip the card you'll see a little bump on this side okay we have to fold on the bump side and then burnish the score line we're gonna do the same with all the three of them burnish it nicely okay. and then we are gonna line this with the tape okay like this Make sure that you're lining it up with the outer edge of the paper. I'm using the half inch tape for this since our uh, okay. Since our um, score line is at half inch do 
this and burnish burnishing is really important if you want your albums to stay as it is for a longer period of time okay so we have an overhang here and cut the overhang if you do have it on yours please do that before sticking our papers okay okay so these are our base pages if you want to write so that they don't get mixed up please pen write with your pencil that this is your base papers okay so we'll keep them aside after this um we are gonna need two black card stocks that measures um, 414 by 614 this is for inside cover for back and this is for front okay 414 by 614 okay so this will go here And how do I select my papers as you can see with the paper pad it has a black and white um, theme going on with a little bit of vintage look like a little brownie here and there so I thought that black would look really nice and it's gonna pop these papers really well so we are gonna stick these right over here but before we do that, okay. Before we do that, you must be having some leftover piece from your white cardstock. So that will measure. Um, six and a half by. This is this will go over here okay and when you keep it like this okay first we're gonna tape the whole thing remove it one by one it's easier to get it in line if you're confident you can go ahead with removing all the backings and then sticking the whole paper at one go whatever is easy for you perfectly on line. Okay. Press it firmly and now we'll do the same thing which we did for the moving of our if you want you can use your scoring tool to get a little dent on the holes like this. If you see closely you have the holes now. And then just slightly bend your cover. Let's see, this is my okay. Before you stick your paper, I forgot to mention one thing. You need some kind of closure. For that, I am using this uh, 
one inch ribbon of I have an easier method of sticking this ribbon I use cello tip for this I think everybody at home must be having this okay so just take one end of your ribbon um, make sure it's in the center and just stick it with your tip reinforce it by adding more tapes this has worked for me since so long since I can remember okay and we're gonna do the same thing um, the glue I'm using this Leans tacky glue you can use whatever you have Make sure you leave enough border on all four sides. Try to line it up with this edge. Um, press it nicely. Let them dry. Place mine opposites like this was the back and this was the front but I guess that's fine as long as you know where's your front and where's your back if you have done the same that I have done uh, you can figure it out with this um, small um, attachment that we did with our cover papers so that line must be on the back okay press them nicely okay now we're gonna do our these pages okay do one thing measure over one fourth of an inch and make a line so that you are straight okay measure it over one fourth inch from the edge and make a pencil mark now you can you know you have to stick between this okay. now remove your backing flip it if you have problem then uh, just take spend this and make this as your reference and you have to stick inside your score line line it up with your pencil mark press it nicely okay so there we go with our base page similarly we are going to do the next one there we go press it nicely and when you do that just open and close these pages and look for any desynchronize non-synchronization um, these should be in sync these pages otherwise it has happened with me I've sticked all the papers and then when I do this they are all going up 
like that or maybe going down so you don't want that uh, because if you do that you have to gonna tear all your pages and do that all over again okay so continue with your sticking the base pages synchronized so no problems over there and now I'm gonna place this one so here are our pages connected now we'll move to the inside pages for that you need um, okay one more thing so I'm gonna call this inside cover front cover inside back cover this is gonna be page 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay we're gonna work it like this so first moving on to our first page you need cardstock that measures six and a half by four inches so it's gonna be a flap there's two things to keep in mind first we will score this okay we're gonna score this keep your paper like this and so that it should be six and a half inches across and just score it at half inches okay. bend your page burnish it and line it with the tape like this on the first page but before that I would like you to have some kind of border on this if you have a punch you can use that I'll be using this one the Martha Stewart geometric uh, pattern punch and I have punched some papers like this this three ways to do this okay first you can if you don't want any punch or you don't have any die cutting machine or things like that you can keep it the as it is okay like this that's why i have kept it in the measurements four and a half by six sorry six and a half by four okay and one more thing that you can do is simply take your punch and punch this paper but I would not recommend it unless you're using a lightweight cardstock like 200 GSM or things like that because we are using a 300 GSM paper I would not recommend using these punches because it is gonna damage your punch I have already done this and have damaged one punch of mine so that's why I'm telling you so for that we have another uh, thing I have punched another strip of paper and then we are going to stick it like this okay so what for that what we are going to do is since we are sticking we need a paper a bit shorter so that this punch is lined it lined up over with our edge of the paper okay so what you will do is keep your paper on the edge like this 
and put your strip of punched paper like this so that your punch design is I am not giving measurements for this one because each of you must be having some different kind of punch and it must be having a different design that measures one inch or half inch or three fourth inch or whatever so what you're gonna do is keep your punched paper like this make a pencil mark so that you know your design is this much and you need at least this much paper to stick this on that paper okay so I'm gonna mark it like from here okay do it like this and maybe yep this one okay so I'm gonna trim this part keep it on your trimmer keep the score line the mark mark line pencil mark on the trim part trim line and then trim off your paper okay so now when we're gonna stick this like this just make sure before pasting anything that you are in line with everything okay so that you don't do any mistakes yeah and now it's perfect so we're gonna paste this also if your design is hanging out a little bit like mine is so I'm gonna trim this off okay so now we will stick this over here okay I am using black cardstock for this so that my punched line looks um, more not a, it's more visible because these papers are usually mostly white and since we're using a white background so our punched uh, design won't be visible okay so i have done a black design press it nicely and since we are gonna stick a paper on this this will not be visible okay so that's our page one remove the backing do one thing before sticking it take a colored cardstock or a black one and put it behind your paper so that you know where you are sticking okay so line it up with your edge of the base page and Take this one like this. Okay, now you see it's perfectly in sync with our length of the page. Okay, and so to keep it close, we're gonna use here. Take a tape that will measure around one and a half inch and take one magnet and place it here in the middle and stick it with a tape. Burnish the ends nicely so that there's no problem. Okay. Place the other magnet on top of this and take a small um, 
on size of the tape stick it on this one okay press it and then just pull it and remove the packing this is the tricky part because the magnet is too small and so it's difficult to remove and tape backing out so we're gonna place it back and then we're gonna close the flap and let it stick okay so that's that it stick now nicely okay that was our page one let's move to page two for page two we are gonna need page two and page three will be same so for that we need um two card stocks yes heavyweight card stock that measures um four and a half by six inches so i have already cut these card stocks and we are gonna keep it um four and a half inch across on the scoreboard and score it half inch okay, i find from here i find to score from here more easier because this is like this is a little bit harder for me so i do score it like that it doesn't matter as long as you are scoring it half inch from one inch okay hold it tape Burnish. Okay, so even for this one, we are gonna do the same thing which we did the with the other flap. These flaps we're gonna come here like this. Okay, so again here I have punched this in accordance with this paper, and we're gonna do this. Okay, so just make a pencil mark and where you need your paper to be cut. Same goes with this one. Trim this edge, line it up with your trimmer. This edge. Okay, same goes for this one. And after that, we're gonna stick this first, and then we're gonna mount our page in the album. Okay, take your glue. it nicely 
helping with your tool if there is any glue sticking out please wipe that off and just cut some extra if there is any overhang I have just a little bit so I am sticking that off ok so we are going to do the same thing with the with this one this is a nice way to use your scraps I always do that with my leftover pieces from making an album and make sure that you line this up so that they are even we don't want the pages to be different once you have stick it press it nicely if there is any glue oozing out please wipe it and then splash it let it dry for some time okay. Okay, so now we are going to remove the backing of the tape and on this page in our album line it up with this edge here okay. there we go see it's perfectly synchronized After you have pasted it, close your page and see if, if the paper is closing nicely without any obstruction. And if there is any obstruction, then you have done something wrong. Okay. Okay. And this one we are going to do it like this. And for that, I am going to need extra stock again. To see if I'm lining it up properly. Yep. Okay, perfect. If you have a overhang like I do right here, I'm just gonna snip this off. Maybe from this side. So we'll do the magnet thing again, take two magnets, stick this here and then close the flap and do the same thing over here, okay. So we'll make four magnets with them, I'm gonna, need to, I'm gonna do that step later and let's proceed with page number four. For this we're gonna make a pocket over here, okay. So for that we need a cutstock that measures 7 inches by 2 and a half. Okay. Like this. So what are we gonna do is make a pocket. So keep it on your scoreboard with 7 inches across and score it at half inch and six and a half inch okay then move your paper like this and then score it at two inches so we have the, something like this Hold on the scored edges, burnish it 
the sleeve after that you're gonna trim your corners if you see this square over here you're gonna remove it but you're gonna do it like this so just where there is this intersection a little bit away from the little bit just a little bit and just trim this okay we're gonna make it like a triangle you see this intersection point so we have to go through this but just a little bit far away and then when you close this make sure that they do not overlap and if they are overlapping just trim it a little bit it's still overlapping so I'm gonna do this see now this edge is clear of each other okay like see this okay same thing we're gonna do over here since this is um, overlapping I'm gonna do this now it's not overlapping okay and the same thing you can do a little bit just a little bit from this corner so that don't have anything popping out from this okay and then what you can do is we will paste it like this if you don't have any bunch or anything you can leave it like this and but if you do have then we're gonna use this one like this okay i've cut it far too broader i'm gonna trim this and we're gonna place this like this okay let me do that we're gonna do it together so Since our pocket is 6 inches, so I'm going to also trim my design like this. So we have a 6 inch piece now, which we are going to stick on our pocket. it's still a little bit of over a overhang then we're gonna snip it okay we'll do this part later but first we have to put tape on all three sides do one thing we close it and then put the tape so that it remains shut do the same thing like this can also use glue for this step but make sure that your pocket edges are all closed because with glue you have to hold it so so that it sticks before drawing just cut off some extra whatever there is extra so that's why I am using because with glue you have to wait for it to dry okay. if there's still something sticking out please do snip because you don't want your papers to be um, catching off on that edge okay now we move the backing and then put some 
that one stop at the bell and line it up Oops. line it up with your edge and stick it so this is our pocket and now we will stick this you can either do it at the back like this or you can do it in the front maybe I'll do it in the front and I still have to snip little bit place a paper an extra cardstock in, in the back so that if any glue oozes out don't stick it on your paper at the back okay press it nicely we'll give it some time to dry Um, in the meanwhile, we'll cut the cardstocks for the next page. For page 5, we need two cardstocks that measure 3 and a half by 2 and a half inches. So, this is the one. This is 3 and a half by 2 and a half. So, we need one more. Okay. What we are going to do is keep it like this when it's two and a half inch across and okay, score it three eighths of an inch. So three eighths of an inch you'll count like one, two and three. Okay. And score. Similarly for this one, keep it like round corner punch and I'm use, I'll use 7 mm for this one. So just keep it inside this big and see we have down edges so this will look more appealing. If you don't have the round corner punch then no problem just leave it like that. So now this must be dry. Yes, it is. Okay. For this one, we're gonna stick these like this on this page. One on the upper corner, upper edge, and one on the lower edge. Okay. So remove the backing. Do some glue. Make sure you are in the center. Take a cardstock again. This step. Okay. some glue just keep something so that you know that where you have to stick it should be in alignment with the upper one okay just eyeball it and if you are not too sure then you can make always make pencil marks that will help you in putting your paper in alignment. Press it nicely, burnish it, open this up, burnish it. Okay, like this. After that, 
how to close this okay there are two options if you have a what do you call it a punch on the eyelid setter then we are gonna punch a hole here and uh, insert the eyelid here and here both and then we are gonna close it with the thread and if you don't have an eyelid setter just the punch hole punch then make a hole here and here reinforce it with a reinforcement hole punch and both the sides here and here and then we're gonna go the thread use a thread to close it third option is with a brad you can insert a brad over here over here and take a thread and wind it up on the brad okay, i'm gonna do the eyelid thing so we will start with page number um six okay for page number six we need to make a belly band and for that you need a heavyweight card stroke that is 300 gsm that measures one inch by seven inch okay so what you will do is keep your strip like this so that it's seven inches across and we will score it at half inch and six and a half inch okay now just press them nicely burnish and we're gonna put some tape I'm using this half inch with tacky tape okay uh, you can always reinforce your um, adhesives like you can use tape and glue both so that it's much more long lasting okay now burnish If you don't want to put any design like if you don't have any punch or something so you can leave it like this but in that case you have to make it one and a half inch okay but since uh, we have already done lots of uh, designs the same design on all the flaps and sockets so I'm gonna go stick with this one okay so what we're gonna do is I have cut this strip with six inches uh, if it's a little bit larger like when you if you see this it's a little bit larger we'll just snip it off okay you can do that after sticking it so what I'm gonna do is lay one strip over here and lay the other strip over here or you can do this at the back however you like because as it is it's gonna be hidden by your paper so no issues okay so maybe I'll go with the back thing yes I'll go with the back that's more appropriate okay let's do that I'll use glue for this you can uh, also use your tape that's not a problem I'll just snip it off a little bit more. Okay, use your glue. Make sure that you close it and see it should not be uh, a hindrance while you do this like this see mine is bending so that means I need to snip off a little bit more okay 
So what I'll do is just this. Okay, now it's perfect. See. Make sure you the design is properly visible from both the ends. press it nicely we'll do the same thing here I'm gonna yes this is also a bit more so we'll snip off just check it if you still need to snip off a little bit more and give it extra think this should do them now. No. <laughs> we still need to do it now. So I'm not giving any measurements for this because uh, all the designs would be different and sometimes while scoring there is like less than uh, one eighth of an inch difference because mm -hmm. it's just how things are. Okay, so apply glue. And then just press it nicely. Okay, so now we are done. So now we're gonna just let it dry for a little while. We don't want to mess it up. In the meanwhile, we'll go to page number seven. We need. Um, Heavyweight card so that measures four and a half by three. So we'll need two of them. Okay, two pieces that measures four and a half by three. And then what you're gonna do is score at four inches. Same with the other one, score at four inches. And four and put tape. Tape, also your edge. Same with this one. Okay. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round my edges. It looks a little bit um, like finished. If you don't have a corner punch, don't worry. Just leave it like that. Okay. Because if this is not a necessity, it's just for a decoration thing okay so when you do this just remember when we put put our paper we also have to round the edges of the paper if we don't do that it's gonna look a little bit weird okay so now we are done with this so we'll stick this in our album okay. don't get uh, distracted by these papers I have just done a little bit of homework and uh, cut my pattern papers for the album so we're just gonna remove the packing now hold it okay if you want you can put a black cardstock behind this so that it's more visible okay just eyeballing and put it in the center Press it nicely and we'll do the same thing with the other end. Just eyeball it and see that it's straight. Yes. Okay, perfect. Give it some time to dry. Or you can just 
put a paper clip so then it's just easier okay now page seven we're gonna pay place this flap over here and this one over here like that okay before you do that just check whether the page is closing nicely or yes okay so remove the backing Okay, line it up with the lower edge and the right hand side edge and then just press it okay same goes for this one do not paste your flap on this score line just give it a little margin uh, we'll just stick it inside the score line because if you do that the page will not close or open the page will not open like that see okay that's perfect so for the closure for this i don't think that we need any closure for this one because when we put pattern paper it's going to be heavy and it's going to stay and one more thing we can do for the closure you can either place magnets but i think it will be too much magnets so we can put lace on this so that on this edge and this edge so that it stays down because of the weight of the lace and one more thing you can do is um, you can make a belly band small belly band uh, strip of half inch or something that is gonna come here and here and insert a tag for the closure I think we will do that what do you think we can do that okay so for page number eight for page number eight you need three pieces of cardstock that measures five inches by three and a half and you'll need three pieces of cardstock that measures one inch by five inch yes okay so we're gonna make an accordion fold so what we will do is keep your one inch by five inch paper on the scoreboard and score at half inch do the same for all three And if you have any pencil marks, now is the time to remove them, erase them. Because when we we'll fold, these will be visible. Okay. So now just fold them. then what do we need we're gonna stick these and these are the connecting pieces so I'm gonna stick it like this and do it place the other one on top of this okay let's do that together I'm gonna use glue and one more thing before we move further I'm gonna trim these corners so that there is no overhang of these connecting pieces Just do this for all the three pieces. Okay. So now we're gonna just place the glue, put the glue on the piece. Take one of your page and stick it. Like this. Do not stick the pages on your. Score line 
because if you do that the movement of the pages will not be as flexible as you would want it to be okay just wait for a few seconds let it dry let it stick nicely if you want you can burnish Now we want our accordion fold. So I'm gonna place the another connecting piece over here, this side. Okay. So be very careful. You want your piece to be lined up to the edge very nicely and one more thing um, you can do is you can use your binder clips to help you make this uh, piece stay where it is and not wasting your time to just put it and wait for it to dry okay I usually do that but my binder clips are way out of reach right now and I don't want to waste any time okay so now we're gonna paste this one on top of this okay so apply your glue but make sure when you do the other step the first pages stick nicely and it's not moving because otherwise whole whole setup will move mm -hmm. okay so just hold it for a few seconds press it burnish when you burnish uh, the excess glue comes out and you can just wipe it off So now the third connecting piece, we're gonna put it here. You can make it like add more pieces to it, accordion fold. It's like a really great way to put excess pictures. But uh, since we're using a heavyweight cardstock, it's gonna be too bulky. And we also have to paste our pattern paper and then on top of it, the photos will also come. So. I think we can live with this just three pieces okay just wait for it to dry and burnish okay. now we will stick our last piece like this Press it nicely and then burnish. Okay. So here is our accordion booklet. Now we are going to stick this in our album. So for that what we are going to do is place this in the middle on the left hand side of edge of the paper okay for this i'm gonna use my tape because it will be easy and i won't have to hold it down for very long so this i'm gonna use my tape always when you're crafting make sure your hands are washed and clean and you don't have any hand lotion, home hand cream, etc. on your hands because if you have that your hands are moist and the glue 
the the more the lotion it um, sticks on your tape and it just it the adhesiveness of the tape is little bit lost so we don't want to do that okay so remove the backing now oops Okay, so just eyeball it and see where is your center. Okay, and there you go. Perfect. So this will be our accordion. It's gonna open so large space here, and then you get six and seven photos on this page okay for the closure of this we can do a magnet but since it's an accordion so you need to have place like three magnets and sometimes what happens is when you put patent paper when you put pictures the the magnetism effect of the magnets it it just does not hold so it, ha it has happened with me before so I would not recommend the magnets for this either. We can do one thing. We can, um, okay, let me think. Um, we can do a belly band closure for this. Or we can, um, we can do a belly band from here for the closure. Yes, we'll do that. I think we'll do that. So for that, we need Mm, one inch or whatever you have in your scraps yes this is one inch so we'll need at least three inches yes three inches three inches okay and uh, we're gonna score at Two and a half inches. Okay. Put tape on this. Vanish. Cut the extra overhang of your tape. Remove the backing. Wow. These tapes are really strong, and since I lost my nail, okay, I'll reinforce this with glue. in the center of this booklet we're going to paste it on the base base page okay see we have pasted it here okay now we're going to use magnets now we can use the magnet it will hold so i have these two pieces and we need a larger piece of tape and one small piece so I keep one piece here piece we're gonna put it like this with the tape press it nicely okay remove the backing if it's not easy to do it like that then take the magnet in your hand 
and then we more less on this close it accordion fold and then just close it like that okay so this is gonna be a closure for the accordion okay so the next the covers the inside back cover and the front cover we'll do in the next video okay if you have any questions please feel free to comment and uh, i will answer all your queries okay see you bye hello everyone this is priyanka from memory keepers let's continue with our tutorial for the mini album that measures four and a half by six and a half so till now we have done our album all our pages and uh, now we'll do the front inside front cover and then we'll do the inside back cover so for the inside cover front first we're gonna use our pattern paper so for that you need to select your pattern paper whatever you want whichever design you want okay i have um, this is the paper I have selected for my inside front cover. So this one measures 4 by 6. Okay, But first, before pa uh, pasting our papers, what we have to do is de-stress its edges, the ink, with the ink. I am using this de-stress ink black suit by Ranger okay, because it will complement my paper very well. So what we are going to do is just dab a little on your blending tool and then slightly ink your edges. You see how nice it looks. Look at this edge and look at this one. The difference it makes in the look of your paper. It's just wow. Okay. So you need to uh, ink all your papers before you paste them okay. so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna stick it if you notice uh, I am putting a moderate amount of glue on just the edges and not in the center because I have noticed that sometimes your paper is just warps and it crumbles and wrinkles because of too much glue in the center so we don't want to do that so now I just put glue on all the edges okay press it nicely burnish it after that we're gonna make a pocket over here for the pocket you need to take a heavyweight cardstock that measures five and a half by three and a half okay so just keep it on this scoreboard and we're gonna score at half inch and five inch okay half inch and five inch and next we're gonna Keep your paper like this and we're going to score at 3 inches. Okay. Just fold your paper. Punish it. Burnishing is really important especially when you have a heavy weight cardstock. Okay. Now we are going to cut these corners like we did before just close it and see they are not overlapping each other if they do overlap you have to cut it because otherwise what happens is the pocket becomes too bulky from the sides and it might um, the pocket might come off sometime in the near future okay now we're gonna stick this pocket on your on your page like that okay but before pasting just remember to check it if it's closing nicely or not okay. I think the measurement is somehow a bit wrong just let me check 
hold on guys okay so we need it oh okay hold on so we need it measurement is wrong so sorry about that okay what we'll do is we have five one fourth we should have five one fourth instead my page it had i have a bigger one we must have five one four by three so We are gonna score at half inch and four three four inch. Okay, no harm done. And then just fold your paper and then just cut it again. Like that. You can see if your this thing are overlapping, it is a little bit. So I'm gonna just trim a little bit more. Okay. Yes. Now it's perfect. So now when you keep your pocket, it's just weighing on the black card stuff. Yes. See? Okay. So now we have our punched design for this. This one. And we're gonna stick it like this. So we also have to make it a little bit smaller. Like we want it four one fourth, so I'm gonna trim that too. Okay. So I think now yes. Now it's it's still long, so we will do it by hand. You can either place it inside or place it outside. I think we do it inside. We do it inside. Just apply glue. You can also use your tape. Sometimes when I put glue, it is extra. I think when it's extra, I just do this. Place it in your in your pocket. I hope you guys can see it in the camera. Check it from the front. We have pasted it correctly or not. Yes, we have. Okay. So now just press it nicely from there. And now we are gonna do our pocket. I'm just gonna use glue. It's a bit faster than the tape. First, we're going to stick the bottom end. Then go for the right side. And then soon after, the left side. If, they, if you find this messy and difficult, just go for the tape. Okay? I'm going to keep something heavy. So that it is stuck. And keep my punch. Give it a bit of a press so that it's there put nicely. Okay. Now for the back cover, 
you're gonna do a waterfall for that so you need five pieces of cardstock and mind you for this one we are gonna use the lightweight cardstock okay because the waterfall is always bulky if you do heavy weight because they are like this so you will need five pieces of cardstock that measures four and a half by four inches yes four and a half by four inches so what you will do is i have done already done this that was like this four and a half by four so you will put your paper at four and a half across the scoreboard and score it half inch okay so i've done this to all the pieces and you'll put tape there you go okay so this might be dried now We will come to the pattern paper of this later. So, for this one, let's pick one of your papers, four and a half by four. Remove your backing. You have to line it up with the black cardstock upper edge and just look if you are in the center okay you should be in the center and just press it there we go okay for the next one take off the backing We have to line this edge with this edge, okay, making sure that we are in middle, in the center, and we do not stray because it will not look nice. See what happened now. It has gone like this and this has, it has already gone a little bit straight. What I'll do is, I'll just burnish it to become straight where is my two okay yep these waterfalls are always tricky because sometimes they go towards right or sometimes they go towards left it's difficult to keep keep them in the middle okay what we'll do is before sticking this i'm just gonna see yes okay After that, we'll put the fourth one. Make sure you are in the center and that your waterfall is nice and straight. So yes, almost just a negligible difference, but that's okay. And this will be our closure. So the fifth one is gonna go down like this, and it's gonna stay like this here. Okay. So remove the tape. Eyeball it, and and find the center and then just place it see you can do one more thing in this you can round your corners it will look really nice but if you don't want to do that 
I think we should have done this before sticking our pages so that it was easier but maybe we will try it okay. see this is looking more finessed and beautiful I'm using the 10 mm round edge for this Some magnets like that. So take a pair. Take out your tape. We are gonna stick a magnet here in the center place the tape okay put your other magnet on top of this stick a tape press nicely and then sorry and then just press nicely okay now I'll just close this And now we are done with the inside cover pages. First, before starting to tear your pages from the paper pad, I want you to select pages for the front cover and the spine and the back cover. That is very important because if you don't do that and use all your papers, nice papers, for the inside, there's, there's a chance that you don't have anything for your cover. So I have selected this one just because I needed something white because we, were, we are going to put something black on this so we need to complement it so we need a white background for that so I have selected this page you guys can also do the same for this so this one it measures four by six and the black card stock they are four one four by six one four so you need two pieces of this and two pieces of four by six and for the spine um you need it's two one fourth by six one four black one and this is two inches by six inches so before we paste them we have to ink the edges i'm gonna take my ink and the blending tool and we're gonna do that same with all these since black is a very um, dark color you might want to be a little, little vigilant with this um, don't put too much see how lightly I'm brushing the edges so that there is a little so that just the edges are black if you do this 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 so all the black thing will come on the paper and that won't look nice okay so for the cover I always use tape because I don't want any uh, wrinkles on my paper so for this I'm using the one inch tape there you go see it's looking so nice I am already starting to love it you don't see the beauty of the album before you place uh, your pattern papers it's all about the papers okay let's start with the front cover so we're going to need a pattern paper that measures 4 inches by 2 3 4 okay 
so I'm gonna ink the edges and now from now on I'm gonna use glue just put the glue on all the four sides leave a border on all four sides it should be just in the middle perfect Burnish it okay now for the next page page one we have the flap like that okay so for the upper part of the flap I have selected this design this one so this measures five and a half by four okay so first we have to ink our edges we'll quickly do that and then we're going to sew sorry make sure there is no gap on this page okay because we don't want our black peeking out so make sure you can keep this so that you see better so in this page we don't have any border like this because we have placed a black strip of punched design paper and if we are gonna leave a border these black edges will show okay so we have cut the paper to measurement so now we dive in for the next part next page I have again same, taken the same paper if you want you can flip it like this you can also place it place this one this is also looking nice we're gonna edge in the edges and then see which one we want to place Similarly for this, but we'll come to this part next. I think I'll go with this only. I like that one more. Remove your tape. This will also reinforce your paper. Ahead. and since here we don't have any risk of showing the black thing so we have cut the paper a little bit less and there's a white border if you can see see okay similarly for the next one here so the paper for this this page is gonna measure three three fourth by five three fourth okay also put some glue on your magnet there will be a white border showing all around whenever there is a magnet on any page keep in mind to press the edges really nicely because of the dimensional thing the magnet the paper sometimes just comes up and the edges don't stick very well you have to give it a little bit time and put pressure on the edges so that they stick nicely okay so that's a page one see it's gonna so 
page two and page three are same so i wanted to use same papers on this so they look symmetrical and identical you can use different papers if you want no problem so for the first uh, flap we need a pattern paper that measures three and a half by six inches but after cutting that paper three and a half by six inches I want you guys to do one thing keep your paper on the base page and see if it's perfectly fine or not because sometimes uh, there's a little bit measurement differences so what you do take your pencil okay where is my pencil okay take your pencil and if it's going out like if it's bigger make a pencil mark and then trim it off on both the sides just look at the base and see if you are in perfect sync with the paper when we move inside um, the pattern paper for this will measure 3 1 4 by 5 3 4 okay for both of them for here and here so I have selected this one for here and this one for here they look nice I love this paper the butterfly and cages it's so pretty okay ink your pages well Use glue because it's way faster than tape. Okay, I've removed the backing of the tape here and I'm gonna just place the glue on all four sides. And now here there's gonna be a border on all four sides. Since we have a magnet here, press the edge around this magnet very nicely because it's a dimensional thing and the edge won't stick unless you give a really good pressure. Okay, same goes with this one. Now for the inside pages, you need pattern paper that measures 3 3 4 by 5 3 4. Either you can do this if you want or you can do this I think I'm gonna do go with this because I haven't used this design anywhere okay, so we are done with page 2 and page 3 now let's come to page number 4 okay so page number 4 has a pocket and you'll need a paper that measures 2 inches by 6 inches also make sure that you keep your paper and see if it's perfect or not if it isn't then just make a pencil mark like this and trim it off if there's extra okay and then just line it ink the edges okay there's something over here i'm just gonna snip it off okay. just apply glue stick it you can also use a design that faces like this I am using like this because I don't want to waste my scraps so now next uh, for the inside we are gonna need three and a half by five seven eight we are using five seven eight because we don't want six inches because when you slide it in there's gonna be some resistance and when you snip it off to five seven eight if you still feel just insert the page inside and see if it's going easily or not okay if you still feel it's showing some resistance then just trim a little bit extra okay you want your paper to stick on nicely and when we put photo mats inside the pocket you don't want your paper to get stuck on on this base paper okay 
so okay i think i had to place this one here but in my hurry i forgot you can place any design that you want this is also fine as long as it's two measurement okay there will be a little bit of a border thing here okay leave some space from the hinge from the right side of your paper stick it nicely press it and for the inside what you can do is take your bone folder just slide it inside your pocket and just do this so that your paper is stuck nicely okay perfect okay now page number six i guess one two three four five page number five so we have these bumpers first we're gonna place our base page i have taken the this one this design it measures three three fourth by five three fourth and then you're gonna ink your edges okay three three fourth by five three fourth just apply glue there is gonna be a little border on all four sides okay and for the bumpers you're gonna need pieces that measure 178 by 338 okay so I have taken this design and do not forget to round your corners of the pattern paper and we're gonna stick it like this so you'll need four of them one to place in on the insides and on the outside so we're gonna after this I have cut these two images from one of the papers that's this one I have cut this image and this image these two okay just to make a like a decoration on the top if you don't want to do that then it's fine I think I'll round the corners too for this one or oh, maybe we can leave it like that it's okay just ink the edges and the other one is this I just fuzzy cut it a little bit from the bird side the cage and this part I'm gonna stick this over here like this I found this very plain so I am gonna do this okay I wanted to use the other image um, this one but it's too big it's not fitting in here so we are gonna do with this okay now for the closure of this page we need a hole punch for this I have this um, we are memory keepers copper die and it's for setting your eyelids brads and punching holes okay so what i'm gonna do is punch a hole in here like in between center okay and same for this one I have 
have this black eyelids from little birdie let's see let's see we're gonna take two of them and just insert this if you don't have an eyelid set or, or eyelids you can just punch holes and take a thread and wind it through that okay Now we're gonna set our eyelet. So I'm gonna keep it like this. See, the eyelet is in set nicely. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this one. something went wrong just a second please yep done okay now we're gonna take a thread for now i'm using this one white jute cord and we'll do this close it make a bow So this is just gonna be a closure. If you want it to be a more fancy, you can dangle charms uh, on the edges. Okay. So this. Is okay, guys. So now we'll move on to page number six. This one with the valley band. So you will need a paper for the back uh, that measures. 334 by 534 and I've selected this design I've already inked the edges so before pasting just slide it inside and check whether it's a perfect fit or not yes mine is so I'm gonna stick this if yours is not please uh, make it a perfect fit And make sure that it slides easily inside I bought it and make sure there's a border all around and take your bone folder slide it inside your this belly band and make sure it's stick okay and for this you'll need a strip of paper that measures one inch by six inch so I've selected this one and I have inked the edges we are keeping this paper to measurement because put it upside down because uh, it should it should look like as if the black bunch design is a part of this paper okay so that's why we're not leaving any borders on this one press it nicely so there you go okay and for the next page page number seven we're gonna need four design paper that measures 278 by 378 so I have uh, cut one of this design this one and this one and this one okay so we are gonna ink the edges Now 
was standing and doing it and didn't realize so I was a little bit tired so I'm gonna sit and do this now so we're gonna stick the um, don't forget to round your corners because it's very important so first decide what paper you want on which one okay you can do this and then uh, round your corners because on this one you have to round it from your right side and on this one you have to round it from your left side okay so do not do the blender um, do this keep your pages cut and um, you can just secure them with your paper clips and then move on to your next design for here I do like this this is a really uh, nice tip and just put glue and then just go with this and we are keeping a very less border on these pages because these pages because or as it is it's very small and if we do a large border this be there will be no space to put, put pictures okay there you go and for this one I'm gonna put glue if you have the prima journal cards that comes that the Prima also supplies. Uh, they are generally 3 by 4 note card size. Um, I do have that but right now I am not able to locate it. I think it must be back at home in India. Okay. So you can use those cards uh, for this space because it measures exactly that much 3 by 4 okay and for the inside ones same goes with this first decide what you want where and then round your corners it's very important because you don't want to round your corners on all the right sides or all the left sides just make sure before pasting you are pasting the right paper on the right page okay these are the small mistakes that usually happen all the time if you are in a hurry or if you're not careful so go slow and uh, always before pasting make sure your measurements are all correct okay because once you've pasted it this not much you can do about it but I haven't inked the edges yet so we'll do that together and the paper for this uh, it measures 334 by 534 glue has dried and So there will be a border all around, white border, press it, burnish it nicely. Okay. Now for the closure of this, I have cut a strip and made it like this. You can cut um, 
a black strip that measures 378 or um, around 4 no it's 378 and the white one is 334 okay just make these two of them any using any of your scraps that you have just uh, put it like this and make sure it looks good okay so I'm gonna paste this what we have to do is just apply a little bit glue on both ends and then you just stick it on the page this way make sure it's in uh, the center like that give it a little bit time to dry uh, do the same thing with the other piece okay so I just eyeball the center and paste it press it nicely and then we will let it dry mm -hmm. and what I, I what I will do is um, this is my tag we're gonna take a tag I have made these tags from the pieces of scrap that we had left okay mine is this one so I'm gonna use the black one this one and I have used the punch for the tags from dress my craft if you don't have this then you can use any local punch any other punch that you have this no issue or you can you also use a die die cut of a tag so or if you don't have any die cut or any tag punch just take a strip of paper okay and punch a hole and uh, twine, like, twine a thread from this and we're gonna just stick it like this and keep it like this so that's our closure okay so we will do that i'll just put the thread in this uh, i have the satin white twine this is again from dress my craft page 7 now we come to page 8 please don't mind this I have done my homework for this okay for these accordion folds you need a pattern paper that measures 4 3 4 by 3 1 4 and you need 6 of them so I have already cut and mm -hmm. inked them so we'll just paste okay and for the back one, this one should be 5 3 4 by 3 3 4. Yes. Okay, ink that. Select any papers you like. Do this. And stick all of your papers. Okay. And for this one, you need two pieces of scraps. And uh, I have selected this one. So this will go like this. So you need two of them. This will measure two three eighths by seven eighth of an inch. So we are done with page seven. I have pasted all these papers and again this closure. Now coming to page eight, uh, where I have already pre-cut everything. So I selected this paper for the upper closure and uh, all the pieces for the inside and these will measure 378 by 378 okay so just go ahead and paste everything i have cut just six pieces and i'm gonna leave the this side blank because uh, i think i'm short of paper so and i think the black this white is also looking fine and uh, 
if you don't like this you can line it up with black cardstock and if you have enough paper then you can go ahead with pasting your pattern papers over here so i have put i have cut six papers one for each and this one here and here so six in all okay i'll do that and then I'll, okay so i have also cut these strips of paper these measure three seven eight of an inch uh, by three eighths of an inch so these will go on this blank right side okay you need to uh, cut strips for this space as well i have already pasted one in uh, shown and so you're gonna do the same thing with all the cassettes okay so this one measures these strips will measure uh, six inches by three eighths of an inch okay so my last cassette was a bit little bit larger so this is half inch by six inch so just ink them and paste um, all of them so you'll need one two three four five five of these strips okay so do that and then we'll be ready with our album and one more thing i have cut all these tags from my um, scrap pieces um, if you don't have a punch then just um, make the just you can use these scraps and insert in your pocket like this i'm gonna do that with all the pockets and also you can cut your uh, photo mats these can be four by four three by four i have cut already pre-cut my these things photo mats and the user can uh, paste picture on this so we we'll insert a few everywhere these papers are so beautiful you don't need any decoration inside but still if you want um, I will share with my final reveal of the album um, um, you can uh, paste things like butterfly and I have one sheet left so what we can do is so we can fussy cut this clock this cage this bouquet butterfly and things like that and we can paste it like this just an I'll just like an elements so that uh, it will increase the beauty of the album something like here or maybe here you can do the stuff like that okay so that completes our album